Hey guys, good Thursday morning to you. We're gonna have an in-depth talk. We just spoke with Jason Graham from Send It Charters. He works right there at Linwood Beach Marina and Campground over there on the uh, Saginaw Bay and had a good conversation and he's got some really specific information for you guys looking to get out here in the month of December and take advantage of the great fishing that's happening on Saginaw Bay. Now you've seen my written posts already and uh, guys really spilling the beans about how to catch these fish. Well, so let's just get right into it. So Jason owns Send It Guide Service. So if you're looking to get out and experience it and your boat's put away, call Jason Graham at Send It Guide Service. You can also get a hold of him just by calling the, the marina there at Linwood Beach. So 15 to 17 foot of water, right basically out in front of the Linwood Beach access. So you're gonna go straight out and basically a little north and mostly south, so maybe a mile, mile or two north, all the way down four or five miles south of that straight out point is gonna be that general area where a lot of fish are. This is a spot where there's actually numbers of fish, Jason tells me, lots of bait holding them. A little bit smaller size fish, perfect for eating that 16 to 21 inch size fish are holding in that 15 to 17 foot of water. Um, best ways to catch them, uh, a variety of different baits. So there's no real right bait. You probably have got the right bait in your tackle box. Anything from number nine or 11 flicker minnows uh, to uh, bigger baits. That's what I tend to go with either my deep reapers or square build reapers. I, people are also pulling bandits out there. Uh, Dead Eye Minnows, the, the new bait out of Lake Erie down by uh, Mark Kalick's shop there at Bay's Edge Resort. That's a brand new bait you're gonna wanna take a look at. I catch lots of fish on it. Um, but basically all the same bigger baits that you'd use in Lake Erie in the fall, you can use here at this time of year. Now, the key to choosing colors, Jay tells me is, is that it seems like in the morning and in the evenings, the darker, brightly colored baits are working good. Stuff that has purples on it, or pinks, or oranges, or chartreuse. Just combination baits that are, are, are really funky looking baits. You know, almost the uglier the better, to be honest with you, uh, seems to be working good. Um, if you're looking for midday and you've got some sunshine, then, then uh, Jay tells me that having chrome exposed somewhere on the bait has definitely been better than everything else. So maybe a chrome base bait that's got a chartreuse head and a chartreuse tail and a couple spots or an orange head or a black head like Wonder Bread. You get the idea. You just want to have exposed chrome on sunny days. He said that's been very much better than the painted baits when the sun is out. Now, if you're looking for bigger fish, if you're out here hog hunting, and trust me, the bay is starting to load up with some really nice fish, there's two areas to check. There's the 21 to 25 foot area on your way from Linwood Beach, on your way to the shipping channel, more to the end of the shipping channel, and you get to that 21 to 25 foot base. Now, Jay tells me that the bait pods, uh, the bait pods are there. The schools of walleye are smaller out there, meaning smaller in number, but the fish are definitely bigger holding out in that deeper water. He said a lot of guys coming in with fives and sixes and seven pound fish really regularly. Uh, the key to those is be on it with your index finger. Mark the spot. When boards start going back and you start getting bit, you need to mark that spot. You need to make sure if you're on a calmer day that you do figure eights and you hit that spot two or three times from different angles in general, and you'll identify not only how big the pod is, but you're liable to pull two, three, four fish out of that same pod before you blow it up. And then, of course, you keep on going and find yourself a new pod and then do the same thing. Figure eight using the, the GPS coordinate as the center of your figure eight. That's the best way to catch these fish when they're out there in small pods. Now, trolling speed has dropped um, to one to one five. And I, if it sounds like that's a big range, that's because on the cloudy, colder days, that water temp more around 35 degrees on the surface, that's when you're gonna to wanna to slow it down, one, 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 two, one, three, you know. On the sunny days, you might get a couple days in a row of sun. He says the bay's been really reactive to heat up to, you know, even, you know, 40 degrees over the course of a day from 35, 36, all the way up to 40 over the course of a couple sunny days. 
And then you can bump that speed up 1415 back to normal Saginaw Bay cold water speed and catch fish. So be reactive to water temperature and speed, uh, daylight conditions. And he said the last group of fish is staging out in front of the Saginaw River. He's got good reports of people already in the Saginaw River, right at the mouth and a little bit into it, uh, catching fish on jigs, traditional jigging methods. But he said there is a bunch of fish out between the island and the mouth of the river and those staging fish are a mixed bag. They can be big, they can be little, but there's lots of fish in that area as well. Real susceptible to just open water trolling tactics again. So if you're looking for an awesome place uh, to go, Saginaw Bay, if you're looking for a great charter, send it charters. They'll get you out on the water and take care of all your needs. Over the last 25 years, Offshore Tackle has dominated the freshwater trolling industry. For the next 25, we're not about to stop. Precision engineering. American reliability. And filling thousands of live wells, one board pullback at a time. Offshore Tackle, the obvious choice. My, my choice. choice. That's why Offshore Tackle has outperformed and outsold any other brand in history. Offshore Tackle is your leader in trolling technology. So like I said, all week long, we've been here at, uh, at the bait shop in Waterford. It's an awesome store. It's got all the stuff. And one of the cool things I like about it is this isn't a Cabela's, meaning you don't get distracted with a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't pertain to this area and what these guys are doing. Uh, this right now is going to be an ice fishing mecca. This area around Waterford, 35, 40 lakes, oh, 100, you know, anywhere from 50 acres up to four, three, 400 acre lakes and you're gonna get really good pan fishing at this time of the year. So if you're looking for somewhat of a new experience and you're in one of those areas where you just don't really have a lot of uh, you know, opportunity to fish good lakes, these small lakes in this greater Waterford area, not only is there lots of them, uh, but they're really productive and Mark and the guys can point you out to one or two or three options where you can just venture out for a weekend and try it out. Uh, and they've got awesome bait here. They've got all the right stuff. They can, they can turn you on to the right colors and the right styles of presentation to catch these fish. So if you're in the Southeast Michigan area, check out the bait shop on Airport Road in Waterford, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow here on Fisherman's Digest. <laughs>